What's going on there, YouTube? I get this thing shaky. I'm a little chilly. I've been uh, I'm diving between the bottom of the boat. They charge 450 a foot at the marina where I'm at to pull it, spray it off, drop it back in the water. So uh, I've always done it myself, normally just to snorkel and try to keep my breath and uh, dive down, sweep what I can off of it, brush what I can. And uh, it, it takes a while. Uh, I'm, I'm not very buoyant. Uh, put me in the water and I'm like a stone. Just go to the bottom. I hadn't been doing a lot of videos lately. Just I really don't have an interesting life. Uh, I try to keep it that way. It, it's not very entertaining what I'm doing on day to day. Like everybody else, just get up and go to work. I just happen to live on my boat. And occasionally have something interesting to talk about. So I thought I'd post something now. Um, that I've got. 140 subscribers right now, I think. A couple come, a couple go. Hey, I appreciate the, the people that are that find me interesting enough to, to subscribe and, and want to see more. Uh, decided this is Friday, uh, end of April at some point, the last weekend in April. Decided to take the day off and uh, come anchor out and then need to get a little motivation and get up. So scrub the bottom of the boat. Hadn't been done at least a year. It is, it is really bad. Uh, I'll show you what I've got, what I'm doing it with. Uh, this is where I'm anchored out at. Beautiful, beautiful little anchorage. I'll show you the whole thing. Really nice. This was an old, uh, an old marina back up through here a long time ago. I think that was a church. Maybe the church is, you can see it kind of way back up in here. This was a house. All this is a, I'd say it's abandoned. I mean, somebody takes care of it. A little uh, log cabin looking things over here. I think somebody lives in, but the rest of it, there's nothing there. Uh, and this here was the marina, and the docks were further out. We can see the, the wall is. There's actually a sunken piece of crap, uh, tri hole kind of a boat there. It's sitting there forever. It's completely gutted. But what I'm, uh, what I'm cleaning the bottom of the boat with, excuse the mess down here, I'm in the middle of getting new cushions made. And, I painted uh, painted this. It was this ugly original 30-year-old brown here, and I painted it with some uh, some really nice Sherwin Williams exterior paint. And it, it did two weeks later, and it still hadn't dried. This is something I got off eBay. It's uh, it's actually a uh, aeration pump for ponds. I didn't know that when I bought it. You can get these directly from China for 100 bucks. The hookah hose, the breathing hose is a little more expensive problem I found with this thing and I, I recently went through my SSI diving certification got my own gear and all that stuff so I'm actually certified scuba diver open water diver now Got some bung holes see how close you can get yeah so they wave as they blow by and do this you gotta love these people never look behind them there's a whole freaking lake here, and they got to come 30 feet away from the damn boat. Bass fishermen. Bunch of assholes. Anyway, moving on from my gripe and complain. I'm flying in there 100 miles an hour. Zoom up. Throw their fishing lines out as fast as they can. I think they're going to catch something. I've seen boats come in and out of here all morning. Not a single one of them got a fish. But this is the uh, the regulator that came with it. It's been completely gutted, or it's probably ordered gutted. Uh, I don't know much about regulators. Uh, this is not. Yep, there we go. Hard to do one-handed. Sorry. If I. Can. Uh, anyway, there's nothing in here. This is normally a button to purge it. It. Uh, it, it holds the pressure in here until you push this button and then it'll blow air out or when you ex inhale it will obviously let air flow through and there's normally an adjustment here to make it easier or harder to breathe uh, sometimes this is actually an, an octave this is a main regulator you would want it a little harder so it doesn't uh, free flow sometimes the diaphragm in there if they're real easy to breathe on the diaphragm will just uh, just allow air to flow through and then of course you've only got so much air in a tank so you can regulate that or adjust that back so it doesn't free flow and you waste your air and just blow bubbles 
The problem I found with this thing, not only is it made to aerate ponds, uh, if you're sitting at the bottom of a pool, here, we watch these boneheads just come flying past me and they're just gonna go float around now. Uh, the problem, uh, <clears throat> it, it doesn't provide enough air. So if you're, if you're doing anything more than just kind of sitting there, give you a little scenery while we're walking around here. Uh, like I said, if you were sitting six, eight, ten feet down on the bottom of a pool, it would probably be, be fine. But if you're actually trying to do something, like float around and uh, scrub the bottom and pushing yourself away from the boat as you're scrubbing it, you know, so you're having to, you're having to swim quite, quite a bit to keep, sorry, I'm still chilly and the water's, uh, I'd say up in the low 70s maybe, upper 60s, it's pretty chilly. Put a wetsuit on, but then I was too buoyant, I couldn't get down, and I'm not putting my, my buoyancy vest with all my weights and everything on there. It's too much work just to scrub the bottom of the boat. So I get in, scrub some, get out, try to warm up, catch my breath, get back in, scrub some more. It does help. It's 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 easier than just doing the scuba thing or just doing the um, the snorkel thing and then coming up, going down, coming up, going down. I can stay down probably four times longer, but it's it's just not enough. Uh, it just doesn't provide enough air, and you're really really having to breathe hard. So. It will be going back on eBay, and I'll be buying me the one part of the gear that I don't have, which is a scuba tank. And then I'll just have to find somebody around to somewhere around to uh, fill my tank. So that's it. Short little video about nothing really, I guess. Uh, if you're going to invest in a hookah kit, well, they're really expensive. I mean, this one was like 400 bucks, and it's. It's honestly about 200 bucks worth of parts that they put together and sell on eBay for about 400. And honestly, it, it shouldn't even be sold. I think it's a death trap. But. So I'm going to put it back on eBay. Yeah, this is my, my XL wetsuit. This is a bamboo lining. It's actually inside out. Letting it dry. I did, like I said, I did try it. And it was just, just too buoyant. It was great for floating around because, like I say, I don't float. Little spider, go swimming, buddy. Uh, so, I'll let you get back to cruising more interesting channels. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe. And if you really like, hey, Patreon, <laughs> donate some money so I can buy a better, uh, some better scuba gear and uh, make some interesting videos. Maybe I'll take the camera down and uh, show you the nasty bottom of the boat. Right, thanks for watching.